Why is there no adult size playgrounds? I don't know about you, but I love playgrounds each time I see one, I want to go in there and go on the swing, the big slides, some cool new funky contraptions that get invented and put there. Where I live, there isn't really much to do unless you have a lot of money, you're into drinking or drugs. Playgrounds that would be adult sized would be so cool to have. First, the stuff is obviously built better to suit the size and weight of the person. Secondly, you don't get rightfully weird looks unless you're with your children minding your friend's kids or something. Thirdly, you get exercise and fun with your friends on top of making nice memories. Well I suppose it's not in your area. But where I live Netherlands, we have a couple of indoor playgrounds for adults. Or they hold adults only nights. Right? An adult sized swing set would be amazing. And a seesaw? We could see how many of us it takes to balance out. I hate that adults are expected to just stop playing and having fun. I hate it. It would be awesome to have a big climbing structure in a park where people could defend the fort and they could fight with, like, colored chalk water balloons or something I like the idea of paintball guns but something that's not painful. I think it would be great fun. People saying gyms are adult playgrounds miss the point of playgrounds. The City Museum in St. Louis is an adult playground. Some indoor kid soft play centers are bookable for adults overnight, including alcohol. Just Google it. I agree 100. Give me an adult playground. Here in China, they have these exercise gym contraption setups just like playgrounds. The exercises are pretty tame and I think are mostly geared towards elderly people no weights, so low resistance. They do look like playgrounds though and they are everywhere in big cities. In fact, now that I think about it I've not seen public playgrounds. Only playgrounds that are part of living complexes or kindergartens. Rock climbing is hard, especially for people not in good shape, and scary. Golf and tennis are competitive, and day spas require no movement. I think the OP is just wishing that there are places to go, like playgrounds and dog parks where the participants just have simple, goofy, physical fun. Reading these cynical comments are getting to me. Can't have shit but bars and spas? I guess hiking and stuff like that is an adult way to get exercise and meet others too, but perhaps an indoor, controlled place would work. Awesome idea, though. Well I actually been to one that was pretty good. It was at a drive-in movie theater. It was an outdoor one and I had a blast. Rock climbing gyms are kind of this. In the US, it's because it would be inconceivable to give wage earning humans anything like that for free. Pay to play is the rule of the land, which is why nearly all places for adult play require membership. They're less frequent, but they're around. The City Museum in St. Louis comes to mind. If there's a trampoline place in your city, go there. I would never turn that down. City Museum in St. Louis, Missouri is just this. Places for adults and kids. But in my opinion, mostly for the older crowd. Lots of hidden paths and tunnels for adults to crawl to, and it has booze. A new playground by our house got a really cool zip line for the kids to use, but they also posted a video of the mayor using it during the grand opening. We checked it out and there's no rules posted so you bet I've ridden that sucker many times under the guise of showing my kid how to use it. It's awesome. Because social enjoyment has been commodified and every activity needs to be able to be something that can be sold to you. I don't know, but driving by a swing set I can get on is torture. Honestly, I was just reading a list of the top best playgrounds near me you bet I was hella jealous. My favorite part of the playground is the swings. Shit hurts man. I just go and play on the existing park equipment. It isn't like there are restrictions or anything and all of the equipment is steel tubing. Sure, some of stuff with enclosures isn't roomy, but the swings and monkey bars work fine for full-grown adults. A friend and I were talking about this a while ago no real fun stuff if you don't drink or into drugs. There needs to be something else besides the gym for when you have time off. Holy shit that would be awesome. 
Sounds like a good idea. I guess you're just not allowed to have fun anymore when you're an adult. This would be so cool and a great way for getting us oldies out a bit more too. I think one of these exists in Las Vegas. I too would like to go on slides and swings and merry-go-rounds and see saws. Let me swing. It's not quite that, but if you're ever in St. Louis, check out the City Museum. It's like a giant art installation some spots are a little tight for adults, but there are plenty of cool places to climb around and explore. Just so you know, climbing around through tubes and in nets and stuff will make your body a lot more sore than it did as a kid. I visited one in New Zealand. Outdoors, free, lots of stuff to climb on and around, built for adult size. I wish we had those in the US. As a small woman, I can usually get away with using the swings at a park but because there's no posted weight rating, I always worry they might snap. It's a shame because I love swings. This is the best question I've seen today. It sounds like there is a business opportunity in adult-scale playgrounds. That's one thing I love about Asia. There are when I lived in China most neighborhoods had a playground park with equipment that could be used to exercise from like rowing things to monkey bars and such. No slides or swings but parks where you could mess around and get exercise. Edit typo. Go to the city museum in St. Louis. They have no kids hours and exactly what you're looking for. Did a fellow millennial write this? Good question and, honestly, great idea, not just for adults plenty of kids are so big by like, age 9-10 that they can't safely use the playground equipment anymore, but they're still kids. Our 10 years old is well over 5 feet and 100 pounds already but she still wants to play. Google Accessible Parks They are becoming more common and have large swings, slides, etc. that is easier for adults. And of course there's probably some indoor playgrounds too. Laser tag? I think about this often when I'm at a park with my kid. I want to scale up that slide so it's as big to me. Because adults aren't supposed to have fun like that. Their form of fun is going out and getting hammered so they can forget how shitty it is to be an adult. IKR my sibling is autistic and is cognitively younger than she legally is quite a bit and she would love this. Any playground is an adult one if you just go play on it. Adulthood is about suffering. Homie here asking the real questions. We need more of those in America. Because adults are expected to either spend money at companies so it can go to the pockets of the CEO and shareholders, or to be working at a company to generate money for the CEO and shareholders. We spend a good portion of our lives as adults, you'd think there would be more free fun things for adults to do. I would 100 love adult-sized playgrounds. Get me on some swings and slides not that spinning death trap from my childhood, though. The small town I went to university in had one back in the late 70s. It was two stories tall and built on telephone poles as a framework. I'm pretty sure the city eventually looked on it as an insurance liability about the time kids' playgrounds got so safe, they weren't even fun anymore. I guess adults have no time for childish things such as having fun or relaxing. We have them in my area East TN but it's mainly meant for DIDD individuals it's my job to help these guys. However, anyone can use them. Don't really get weird looks using them typically. But I would say that if you're using it and an individual with special needs shows up, if they want to swing, please hop up and let them. When I take my kids to the park has children's things as well, if my wife is with me, I'll honestly play around on it for a while for exercise. Little confession I take my kids to the park in the evening so I can use the swings without the judgmental looks from other parents lmao. I think a park with bigger and more accessible items would be so cool. Look and see if you have any all abilities parks nearby. They're made with disabled peoples in mind and often have some pretty cool equipment suitable for older kids and adults, too. I had one close by that my kids loved. We went on down times, too, so I could swing on the tall monkey bars like a kid again. Capitalism <laughs>